Hello and welcome. I'm a big fan of J River Music Centre but it is quite a difficult ap uh, application to use. It's very 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 flexible, it's very 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 configurable and it can be difficult to get to grips with without spending a large amount of time learning its functions and experimenting with the configuration. So to this end I've decided to do a few uh, videos which are basically screen grabs of a music center setup in a virtual machine to hopefully help people um, get to grips with uh, JRiver, learn about its functionality and get up to speed more quickly. JRiver themselves don't produce any videos which I think is a shame because it is a complex product so I'm spending a little bit of my time to make some videos to hopefully help people out. So starting at the very beginning let's start with installing the product. I'm going to start with installing version 22 which is um, the previous version because in a later video I'll show you the upgrade process to upgrade to version 23 which is the current version. So let's start with the install. As I said, this is running in a virtual machine. Um, it's relatively underpowered, but it's fine for demonstration purposes. So let's run the product. Um, I've increased the zooming of the um, of the screen, so the icons are quite big, which does limit the the um, the real estate of the desktop a little bit. But it uh, might make it easier for people to see. Um, I run Music Center as uh, the, uh, a, a non-administrator account. You shouldn't really use the administrator account for day-to-day -day work. Um, so I run it as a non-administrator and therefore I get the user access control boxes popping up quite a lot. So I'll we'll agree to the terms and conditions. The express install is fine. Um, I'll leave that unticked. This machine is internet connected so any of the features that uh, Media Center needs to download they can be um, added into the config. The default file associations work for me, so I shall leave them set to the default. We have an icon on the desktop and Media Center version 22 has started. The import media function, I find this very annoying. Um, this is a countdown timer and this will automatically um, import the media from your PC but it doesn't discriminate and will find any music file or video file anywhere on your PC and add it into the media center. I don't like that, I like to control where my files are loaded from so I will click to cancel and I will select no import at this point in time because I don't want it to import anything, I will do this myself shortly. So there we have Media Center version 22 installed. The first thing we need is some content. I'm primarily um, an audio user, um, so let's install some audio tracks. I have a few CDs on this machine that we can install. And I can remember where the install part is. Import. There we go. <laughs> so I need to con first of all. I need to do is to configure the auto import. I want to import the media from a folder, which is on my C drive. This 
media and music so this is where I keep my music and this this represents my entire music collection in this uh, demonstration video from that music folder I only want to import audio and I'm happy to let it import all the different types of audio you can see I don't want to tag the tracks as they come in I will get it to analyze the audio as the files are imported this can take a while but it's once it's done it's done once and doesn't need to be done again I will also get it to ignore um, things like folder.jpg I don't want those importing as pictures you can also configure additional tasks that happen when the audio is imported um, I, I may tweak these later but for now I'll leave them set to the default uh, in fact I will get it to build, thumb, build the thumbnails I won't get the cover out. No, I've, I've now changed it completely haven't I so analyze audio for audio files build the thumbnails um, ignore files previously moved from library I'm happy with those settings so I'll now finish so down here we can now see the import has happened there's only a few files on this machine yeah, and it's got 21 files to analyze the audio on I guess the other ones have been done already um, so now we have some content if we look at the album view we can see the albums that have been imported we have an artist view I have four different artists file view shows you the individual files genre bit of mixture of acoustic bluegrass folk and pop we have a panes view where the different tags are listed in columns here um, it's now told me that the import is complete we can look at the details and we can see what specific files have been imported so if we go back to audio let's go to albums let's pick that particular album we can play a track and we can see that's playing playing fine so that's taking you through an install of music center turning off the auto import configuring a manual import importing some tracks analyzing the audio and playing a track thank you for watching